So <clears throat> step three is assigning RNS configuration, right? So the ultimate goal of everything what we did so far, right? So we did, we found a stereogenic carbon, right? We assigned the priorities, right? So the ultimate goal of doing all these things was assigning RNS configuration. So this is not a real step. We don't really have to do much for this. We just had to do everything what we did so far, okay? One after another, all right? So find a stereogenic carbon, right? Then assign priorities, okay, the step one and step two, okay? Now the third point here is lowest priority must be on the back, okay? So lowest priority should be on the back side, which is the, the dotted wedge line, that means, okay? And we'll see when we actually do the example, how can we handle that, okay? So in this case, what we do is we try to connect. We're connecting priority one to two to three, okay? So when you connect priority one to two to three, you see how are we going? Are we going clockwise? then clockwise is R, okay? So you're going right is R. And if you're going one to two to three, and if you're going counterclockwise, that is S. So right is R and left is S here, okay? So clockwise and counterclockwise, okay? So this is your R and S, okay? So R and S has some significance, okay? It's very important in drug discovery, okay? Uh, and I will discuss that in the, in the, uh, during the office hours, okay? But for now, let's try to understand the concepts, all right? So let's bring back all our examples, right? So what we have here is, let's say we have, uh, try to find out, is it R or S, right? So this example we did before, right? So let's see a hydrogen, right? So this was number one priority. This is number four priority, okay? This is number two priority, and this is number three priority, okay? So we did this already before, okay? So we are here, okay? Now let's look at the point number three. The lowest priority must be on the back, okay? So lowest priority is already on the back here, okay? It must be on the back or below, either way is fine. It's up to you how you read it. Okay, so it should be below the plane. So it's already there in the below, below the plane, okay? That bond means it's below the plane or in the back, all right? So then we are ready to connect. So connecting one to two to three. So how are we going? Connecting one to two to three. Okay, so we are going one to two to three. So are we going clockwise or counterclockwise? That is clockwise, it's going right. So this is R. So the configuration of this stereogenic carbon is R, okay? So let's do another example. <clears throat> So we have two stereogenic carbons here, right? So carbon one right here, let's say, and there's another carbon right here, all right? So in this case, this was number one priority. This was number four priority, okay? This is number two, and this is number three priority, okay? So we're going one to two to three in this case. So that should be, so we're connecting one to two to three. So that should be R. So this stereogenic carbon here has R configuration, all right? And here is one, there'll be two and three, okay? So that's your four, so one, two, three. So you're going clockwise, so this is also R. So the configuration for this region carbon is also R. All right, so this is R and this R. So you can have R and R, or you can have R and S, or you can have both S. So you can have any combination possible, it just depends on the molecule, all right? So let's try this example. So this carbon was stereogenic right here, <clears throat> right? And we assign the priority, so this gets number one priority, hydrogen gets number four priority, right? This will get number two, and this gets number three priority, right? So we're going one to two to three, so we're going clockwise, right? So if you're connecting one to two to three, we're going clockwise, so that is R. So configuration for that stereogenic carbon is R, okay? It's just a coincidence, every example we pick up is going R, 
but that's not always true, okay? We'll do some example where you have R and S or just S. So it's gonna be combination, all right? So let's say if you can, right? if you try this example right here. All right, so the fourth group is a hydrogen, right? All right, so that gets number one priority, that gets number four. Then we get two priority and that gets number three priority. All right. So we're connecting one, two, two to three. All right. So fourth on the back already. So we're connecting one, two, two to three. So we're going one, two, two to three. So we're going left. So that is counterclockwise. That should be S. All right. <clears throat> so stage any carbon that has S configuration there. Right. So <clears throat> let's say when you have the ring structure now or when we have ring structure with more than one stereogenic coordinates, right? So let's say if you have an example like this. All right, so just a quick note here, when you don't have a hydrogen, right? So when you get a structure like this and we're going to place a position of your hydrogen, okay? So Usually what I do is I place the hydrogen either here or place it here. But make sure it's kind of V-shape with, with, uh, with the solid wedge line, okay? So if it's in a V-shape, then because that's what the structure is. If you hold it as a tetrahedral structure, then those two are in V-shape, okay? I want to put hydrogen here because that would change the story. So that's why just to make sure that if when you write the missing group, always write in a V-shape, all right? So we have two stereogenic carbons here, right? So that's your stereogenic carbon, that's your stereogenic carbon, right? So if you're looking at this here, that will get number one priority, that gets number four. So one, four, that will get number three priority, that will get number two, sorry, that will get number two, <clears throat> that will get number three priority, okay? So we're going one to two to three, so we're connecting one to two to three, that is, Clockwise is R, all right? So in this case, one priority, second, third, and fourth. So we're going one to two to three. So that should be S. So this stereogenic carbon has S configuration. Let's try this example. All right. So the missing group is a hydrogen and try to put the hydrogen as a V-shape. Okay. I can put either this way or this way, but it has to be V-shape, right? So we already did the priorities for this. So this gets number one priority. This will get number two priority. This will get number three priority. And that hydrogen gets number four priority. Right. So we have one to two to three, are we going? We're going clockwise, so that should be R. All right, and same for this one right here. Okay. So that gets number one priority, that gets two, that gets three, and that's the four. So we're going one to two to three, so we're going counterclockwise, so that should be S. Okay. So you can either write down here or you can just write down here, either way is fine but make sure that somehow you you let me know that this is the carbon you're talking about, all right? <clears throat> so R and S, so that's why I say you can have a combination of anything. You can have R, R, or R, S, or S, S. Okay, it just depends on what molecule you're dealing with, all right? All right, so let's try this example, all right? And let's see what's the difference, okay? So we have a carbon, right? That carbon should be stereogenic, and then we have a hydrogen. Now the position of your hydrogen should be above the plane, okay, because what we have here is below the plane, in plane, so the missing hardening should be above the plane, okay. So <clears throat> we can go ahead and assign the priorities here, okay. So oxygen gets number one priority, okay. Hardening gets the lowest priority, okay. And this will get number two, and this will get number three priority. So we have all the priorities, okay. We did this molecule before, okay. 
but there is there's an additional package here. Okay. Now until now every example we did, okay, the fourth priority was on the back. Right? But in this case, the fourth priority is not on the back, it's on the front. Okay. So when you look at the rules, the rule says that I can only drag a circle if the lowest priority is on the back. Okay. So the problem is I cannot connect one to two to three here because the fourth priority is not in the back. Okay. So there's a different way to handle it. Okay. So what we have to do here is then if I want to drag a circle, then I have to send this to the back. So what's on the back here? So this is a process. Okay. And we'll try to find the answer at the end, but we have to go through a process here. Okay. So if you look at the structure right here, right? so if I'm just going to draw, draw the same structure here, all right? So your fourth priority is not on the back, it's on the front. So how to send it to the back? So who is on the back? Okay, the OH is on the back side. Okay, so we had to make a swap. Okay, so that means I had to make a switch. So if I make a switch one, okay, so if I make a switch one, then lowest priority has to go on the back. So I had to swap these two because that's the group which is on the back, right? So that's how it will look like, right? So the H will go on the back and OH will take its place. All right, so now your priorities are first, four, okay? Two and three. So we haven't touched two and three, so they will stay the way they are, right? So two and three are still the way they are, okay? We made the priority swap here, which is fourth is on the back now and first is on the front. Okay. Now since fourth is on the back, then we can make a drag a circle, right? So I can connect one to two to three. Right? So one to two to three. So I'm going clockwise. Clockwise should be R. But since I made a switch one, I have to also make a switch two. And a switch two is then you switch your configuration from R to S. So the answer here is S. So that's the answer. So the configuration for this is S. Okay. So you don't have to write this in the exam. This is a process. Okay. And why, why you're doing this process? Because your lowest priority is not in the back. Okay. So I cannot drag a circle. In order to drag a circle, I have to make a switch. And if I make a switch, then I also have to switch the configuration. Okay. So let's try another example here. All right. <clears throat> so we, we have a stygian carbon here and a stygian carbon here, right? So here you have a hydrogen and we have a hydrogen here. Okay, so that's you. Right. So this carbon should be easy to handle because the fourth priority is on the back here, right? So we have priority one, two, and three. So you're going clockwise, so it should be R. Okay, so easy pick is R, right? So let's find out what's going to happen to this stage in carbon, right? So the hydrogen here is above the plane. And since it's above the plane, then I cannot drag a circle, right? So this is your priority number one. Okay, that will be your second priority. That will be your third priority, and that will be fourth. Okay, so one two, three, and four. The fourth priority is not on the back. The moment I realize my fourth priority is not on the back, then I have to go with the process, okay? So what I can do here, then I can make a switch one and switch two. All right. So we're not looking at this anymore. We are only focused on this carbon right here. So that has a bromine and a hydrogen. So that's your number one priority. That's your fourth priority. So that is your two and three. All right. So the lowest priority has to go on the back. So what's on the back here is bromine. So we have to make a swap between these two. All right. So priority two and three will stay the other way are. Okay. So that's your priority two and that is three. They will stay the other way are. Okay. And we are switching priority four, which is a hydrogen, and priority one will go here. So that's your one 
and 4 okay and now we can drag a circle because the fourth part is on the back okay so we can drag a circle connecting 1 to 2 to 3 so we are going counterclockwise counterclockwise should be s but we made a switch so we had a switch to r so the configuration for this trigenic carbon is r okay so this is not the answer s crossed r is not answer your answer can be only a r or s okay or r and r either way but the answer is one okay so this is a switch okay we got s here but we made a switch so we switched this to others right 